Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here, and on this DN9 video review, I'll be talking about vocabularies. So, vocabularies is located under settings, vocabularies, and this is the equivalent on DNN8 to admin, advanced settings, and then taxonomy. By the way, this is beginning of November 2016, and I'm reviewing version build 287 of DNN9. So, a rename here. It used to be called taxonomy and now it's called vocabularies. Well, taxonomy was pretty much a very mysterious name. Vocabularies, yeah, it's, I think it's a, it's a little bit better. It tells a little bit more about what this is about. Now, for those that don't know, vocabularies or taxonomy is the way that you classify certain aspects of DNN. And by default, out of the box, there are two vocabularies. One is tags, and the other one is module categories. Tags is just a way that you can classify pages or modules on pages on DNN. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this on DNN 8 because certain aspects are not implemented yet on DNN 9 in terms of pages and, and module settings. So, just a quick, a quick look here. Let's say if I go to the home page, if I go to edit this page, under page settings, there is the, the tags. So the list of tags is coming from, in the case of DNN8 taxonomy, in the case of DNN9, it's coming from vocabularies. So the tags there will be coming from the tags listed here under the terms. So under tags, by default, there, there are no terms yet recorded for those tags, and we can just create, and you can see the very sleek and very fast interface of the different views on the persona bar. So we can quickly just click on add term, and I can say, hey, let's call this marketing. I'm gonna have a tag that's called marketing. I'm gonna update here, I'm gonna add another one here. Again, you see a very, very simple, very easy, very uh, quick interface marketing, then you have sales. Again, I'm just giving examples of potential tags that could be used to classify pages and modules on pages as well. So just an example. Now I can delete them, I can just add, I can cancel, I can update, I can delete them. So I can delete, see, very quickly, you just see the loading bar at the top, but you can barely see that. This is This just shows how quick and what a great performance uh, DNN9 has. Now, the other tag, and I'm gonna collapse this, I'm gonna expand here model categories. This is just a way to classify the different extensions on DNN. I cannot demonstrate that, but it's just a way, and there are a few terms that comes under the module categories, like none, admin modules, common modules, developer modules, so I can add my own new categories here, I can delete, modify any one of the existing ones, I can just say, hey, edit this, I can change, I can update, I'm gonna cancel this, very simple and very easy, very fast interface. Now, I can also see the list of global vocabularies and I can see the list of website vocabularies. The difference here is just that global apply to any DNN site on this DNN instance. And if you go to websites, which there are no vocabularies for this website, for this specific site, those are only vocabularies that only apply to this site. Now, you can also create by clicking new vocabulary, you can also create a new vocabulary. Now, to be honest, I don't see too much of a point of creating a new vocabulary because there's no place that you, you know, on DNN, that you're gonna be using this vocabulary, at least as far as I know. So it only makes sense to create a new vocabulary if there is a place, and usually that goes, that ties up to a module development or a module developer that is creating another feature somewhere and needs a new vocabulary, then that can be a place, here can be a place as well for them to manage a new vocabulary. So Again, I don't see too much of a point of creating new vocabulary if you cannot use it anywhere else. That's my understanding here. But you can you can add a name, description, you can set, set a type. It's simple with one level structure, a flat structure or a hierarchical structure, one vocabulary inside the other, and it can have the website scope 
or the application, uh, the instance, the DNN instance, the entire DNN instance as the scope. You can just hit create, it gets created, but I'm gonna cancel this very fast, very quick interface. Now, this is really it. Vocabularies have been renamed from DNN 8 and used to be called taxonomy and now is located under settings, vocabularies on the new persona bar on DNN 9. That's it. Thanks very much. Bye.